hello everyone today i'm going to show how to make a ctf file for a uh, gfs grip data and uh, later uh, open that file in grads and plot some some data so first a few things uh, we need before uh, trying to make a ctl file the one thing is that uh, um, g2 ctl script from insert mm, website you can get it from here this is a pearl script you have to save this file save this file with a format dot uh, pl so this is my, this is my working directory so i am going to put pl as my extension of this file and save yeah i already done that before so g2 ctl script is the and uh, next thing you have to have a uh, pearl if you don't have pearl in your computer you can search it in google and uh, download it it's a free software so pearl.org you will get pearl from here so install the pearl then open your open grads in your working directory i already opened this one yeah then you need to open command prompt another command prompt to, to make ctl file so this is my working directory and this is the uh, pull script we are doing so first you need to type pearl then g2 ctl then file name of your gfs data which is grid so this is the gfs data file and then you have to give this arrow i mean greater than sign then your file name form for your ctl file so i'm going to give gfs dot ctl then press enter now ctl file has been uh, created so you can open it and see the variables and pressure levels time interval and everything is here gfs data but <coughs> has uh, 123 variables in a grip file so it's a big one and uh, then you cannot open uh, ctl file straight into your cards so you need one more thing which is uh, index file so to make index file there is a program called grip map which is uh, within your cards program so you don't have to install anything else so type grip map grip map then space uh, your <coughs> yeah grip map so, hyphen zero then hyphen i zero stand for if you are doing uh, analysis data and if you are doing ensemble data you have to give uh, b and uh, this is a ctl file and uh, it will generate the uh, index file press enter so it's created an index file with the same name of uh, same name of as the uh, your data file so this is has been done so minimize your command prompt window then open your grads window make sure you are uh, open grads in a with uh, in same working directory so yeah so this is my grads window so i'm going to open my uh, ctl file which is uh, gfs.ctl gfs.ctl now the we uh, open gfs ctl file integrates you can see 
the variables within that one using q file so uh, so we successfully imported the data into grass now we can plot <coughs> no, some temperature profile or something no, something like mm, yeah total option total option in the uh, in entire atmosphere it's a variable name is toss toss any clm so first yeah setting set gh out shared integrated shared or not so that's then d for draw toss in me cm okay check your variable name toss in me clm here press enter look into your grads window output window yeah we have plotted the data successfully in grads if you import the fs data you can do um, uh, so many type of analysis so you can find the anomaly take average sum and many things so and uh, now i'm going to uh, make a uh, png file from this one so print file print again file output dot png right that for getting a uh, white background instead of this black chip so press enter so we successfully plotted the gfs data in grads that's all thanks for watching